where the hopes of the past finally, finally, it's been a long road, become the reality of the future. Look around you. What a beautiful place to be. And I think somebody's smiling on us. I don't think we could ask for a more perfect day. I'm truly honored here today to be joined with this huge group of optimists, determined men and women who dream the great dream, who dared for nearly 10 years to try whatever it took to make this day come true. We are here to celebrate not one, but two beginnings. We are breaking ground on the new Panama City, Bay County International, that sounds good, doesn't it? International Airport, a project that will provide this region with a dynamic economic development platform and will deliver to this region improved, much needed improved air service. We've done a good job, Bay County, but we're growing. But today also marks the beginning of an unprecedented effort to protect forever one of Florida's most important environmental treasures, West Bay. To help us mark the beginning of the restoration and permanent protection of 41,000 acres surrounding West Bay, we have with us today Ms. Victoria Whitmire of West Bay Elementary School. Victoria, thank you, will present a longleaf pine seedling to Mr. Eric Draper, the conservation director of Florida Audubon. Mr. Audubon, would you please accept this and take care of it for us? And thank you, Victoria. This tree, this seedling, will be planted in the West Bay Preservation Area as part of that incredible restoration project. So as you grow up, you'll be able to return to the West Bay Area and see this tree grow along beside you and your successors. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, there is a great story that's being written here today, an incredible story. It is a story of balance. And, you know, I was talking to somebody before we started here today and say balance is a term that's used all the time. People always say that they're balancing the environment and the economy. But it has never been written, the story of balance has never been written on the landscape like it's being written here today. It's never been written in such a large way. It's never been written in a way that we have real balance between a transportation project and environmental preservation. I bring apologies from the governor, who is disappointed that he did have to take a trip to Washington on an emergency meeting and not be here today with you. Please listen as Governor Chris offers his message that he taped yesterday while he was in Miami. Ladies and gentlemen, the governor of the great state of Florida, Charlie Chris. The new Panama City Bay County International Airport will serve as a national model for economic transformation and environmental preservation. Northwest Florida is known for its beautiful white sand beaches, but this airport will forge an even brighter identity for the region. It will revitalize, diversify, and grow the economy. It will mean better jobs for the people of Northwest Florida and a better future for the children of Northwest Florida. My wife and I uh, every night say a little prayer together, and we, I can't say every day, but almost every day, we say a little prayer for this airport. And you know, it's probably not right to pray for just things you want, but, and I worry about that sometimes, but coming out here today and seeing this beautiful cloudless sky, the sunshine, the temperature is just right, you know, I think God did approve of this project, and we thank Him for that. <laughs> Folks decide we need bridges to connect this county. We've got islands here, islands there. And they went ahead and, and built some bridges that, which united us. Um, l later on, some folks decided, boy, what we really need is some really a good source of fresh water. And they, they built their point, their point Lake. Not letting anybody know the dam that, that was doing there was really going to be for fresh water. Nobody liked those things. I can remember I read about when they cut the cut the uh, uh, Shell Island into a navigable stream or navigable waterway. Uh, there are folks saying, "What's going to happen when you cut this into the bay? We're going to flood." 
Um, we, there's always a certain amount of, of contest and a certain amount of why you're really doing this. We're, not, we're now going to go down and, and uh, dig some symbolic dirt in the sand. Um, we we thought about doing it in the real in the real land, but we're not supposed to disturb anything um, until we start construction. And um, so we're going to do that, and we're going to do the, do the ceremony right now. I would like to say though that looking out at all of you, we should have had the foresight to bring each of you a shovel. With all this group here in shovels, we could have really, really done some dirt. And, and I think we could have taken a million bucks off of Pinch's contract.